Hi guys, we're loading here at Hendrit. Our panels for our trailer. Yes, and I just want to use this opportunity to thank Vanner and Kali that organized this for me, the managers here. Um, God bless them. I must put you on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Kom nog met hem. Guys, why not to be key? Aki, Aki. He said, oh, yeah, we loaded the stuff for the trailer build. So excited, they gave me two extra boards. And uh, wonderful, yeah, at Hendrik Freehoff. They're here in, in um, Sack Circle. Hi right, guys, so yeah, we are leaving Hendrik. We just loaded the whole load of the sides and stuff that they sponsored us. They gave it to us for free. You can't believe it. And, and this would have been more than six to 7,000 Rand or 8,000 Rand um, that I would have had to spend on that trailer which Hendrik gave us for free they rejected but still very good condition wood and stuff Hi guys, so here is the whole load and this is Hendrik Freehoff, they are in Sack Circle here in, um, in Belleville next to Advanced Galvanizing and we are so blessed. What blessed me most was when Vanner told Kali, let us help Trevor get these boards out here so that the work of the Lord can carry on. It meant he got it. So if anyone wants to have their trucks repaired or any spares for trucks, when, when I had trucks, we used to come here to um, buy rubbers and uh, air tools for the wheels and axles and computers and everything you need uh, for a trailer of a big truck. And um, so they have a shop here in the front. So any needs that you have for your truck or for a truck, uh, a trailer you welcome to come here and uh, we just want to bless them and we pray that God will bless Henry for 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 this blessing and uh, that they will prosper in everything especially after the COVID-19 stuff and so on um, that they will just prosper and as we saw that they are busy and uh, they are really busy uh, uh, working hard and so it looks like production hasn't stopped so we we are very happy about that and um, and they will just be blessed all right hi guys so we arrived in Sirius yesterday we just packed unpacked everything got the boards off everything here's the trailer and the beams that's on there you know today we're starting our assembly of some of the stuff so we these boards are very heavy um, for two guys it's actually too big to handle it's very heavy. Um, these are just the bottom sides. They're dirty. They used it as a table there at Hendrit. And um, so, yeah, when you look at the trailer, you can see it's still rough. It needs a lot of work. And you can look inside here. Here is the floor. And we are going to put this beam in at the back there and then put the board on so the floor is kind of sorted this is a part of the board that we put in yesterday and um, yeah so it's great um, I'm just gonna stop now and then we'll show you when we've done this because we need all hands on deck
<laughs> and um, and uh, so today we want to continue put in the beam there on top there it is lying on the floor we want to put that in on the top to support the roof and uh, also put that floor in Hi guys, so as you can see we just put in this beam here on top, um, it was a mission but we got it in, that is to hold the roof and uh, not that it needs that, that much but for support which is, which is actually important and then we're going to put another one down there in that part and then also an angle line that's coming down there and then we need to fix on the front part a little bit, work on that. And as you can see, we've put in this beam here this morning, this one. And that my dad did a while ago. And that one on that side as well. So now we can just, uh, I've painted some of the stuff on the bottom. Uh, everywhere where it was welded. Um, I just need to do that one still. And then we can take this floor that's lying there. And then we have to pick it up. It's heavy. <laughs> I can barely pick it up, so my dad and I, we're trying our best, so we had to swing it over and then throw it in here and then push it in. And then from those two, we still need to make the door. Um, yeah, so this is how far we've come. And as you, see, as you look at this trailer, you see it looks rough, eh? But the thing is, when what I love about this kind of thing is at the end of the day, when everything is done, you can't see none of this and you can't believe that this is what it was. That has always been something in my life that I loved, uh, rebuilding old stuff. And that is really something that, uh, you know, to see something transformed. It's like someone that gets saved. You can see this trailer on the inside, it looks a little rough. But this is what I love about it. You know, when you build and restore something like this, it is always, it looks bad in the beginning. And, and when you get to it, no one looks and they see the potential. But you see the potential, and I believe that's how God sees the potential in us. Um, he sees us the way we are, but He sees us for what we can be. You know, and with this trailer, we're busy um, transforming this thing. And, uh, you know, it's, I just see it. When someone gets saved, they, they're they not always what you think they should be, or they don't look like they've got potential or whatever. But as God works in their lives, they become something beautiful and useful like this trailer is going to be something useful for the kingdom of god it's going to win souls bring in the lost i'm excited about it i can't wait and um so on hi guys so <laughs> there was some stuff i couldn't tell you uh, that happened on the way to cirrus uh the evening when i went there uh, i left on sunday evening and as i was driving there i came over the one uh, hill and far in the distance I saw that there was a roadblock so I had to find a place a spot to park next to the road just to get off the road and I had to wait there till from I think it was around 10 ish till um, 12 o'clock and then I saw the lights kind of disappearing over the horizon and the, of the flickering traffic lights because my trailer with that big boards on it was hanging over at the back a little bit and they gave me an extension on my license, but uh, I didn't have time to take that out on the truck uh, to go there. So I didn't want to take a chance and go through the roadblock. Um, although I think I would have passed, but uh, I was just worried about the boards also sticking out at the back a bit too long. So I rather waited there for about two hours, slept a little, but it was so dark I couldn't make a video and tell you what's going on. 
so I'm just telling that now and then um, just before I entered uh, the, the just before I got to the pass going into Cirrus uh, my alternator light came on on the Land Rover and <laughs> so I had to drive and kind of hope because I know that it just goes a little bit and then it cuts out uh, then the battery is flat because everything on the though it's diesel it still works electronically so I just pushed as far as I could hoping that I wouldn't get stuck in the mountain so I got up the pass and so on and eventually luckily at some points I just had to switch off the lights and just drive in the dark but it was full moon so I could see a little bit and uh, so I just kept on pushing over the mountain and when I got on the other side luckily I got through I thought I was gonna get stuck in town but I even got through town with the alternator light burning and every time just when I think now it's gone then suddenly the light comes on again and it just charges the battery a little bit more <laughs> And so I just kept on going and eventually I got to my dad's house uh, even in front of the gate I had to wait for them to open and it just kept on idling and eventually I pushed it in and I got there safe and, and, uh, and secure you know and uh, yeah so that was great I was so happy about that and then uh, while I was there working on the trailer during the day um, later the afternoon I had to still take off the Land Rover's alternator that's why on that one photo where I'm standing grinding my arms are black luckily my dad didn't take the photo too close because my arms were black of the oil um, from from uh, taking off the alternator uh, because I saw that there was an oil leak as well which is Land Rover everybody always teases about that there's always leaking oil so I uh, but luckily I could just uh, open up the brushes and I could just fix them a little bit because they, there wasn't time or a place open to get brushes from and uh, yeah so luckily I could get the alternator fixed uh, with the parts I had and then I just assembled it again and and to drive back yesterday so um, yeah so all these things also happen you know all, everything doesn't always just go smoothly as you wish but it all makes it interesting and exciting so great man yeah and i'm so glad for everyone that's joining us in this um, venture of building this stage i can't wait because i really believe that god's gonna do something awesome with this trailer you know when god is working the enemy always wants to stop as well but uh, at least we know how to work with him the bible says whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven he has given us the keys for those things and um, so we just bind him in jesus name and we thank you that god will give us victory in every area and everything we do you know sometimes when you look at people and you see how they also struggle through stuff and you know, everything doesn't just always work out perfectly it gives you a little bit of um, hope you know not always feeling that you're the only one that's always struggling because the Bible says our brothers all over the world our world are going through the same kinds of sufferings and I just want to bless you and thank you for following us with this build and if you feel that you want to get involved and maybe sow a seed towards it you will see our banking details at the bottom of the screen and get involved come on be a part of evangelism be a part of soul winning be a part of what God is going to do I believe that that is a move that's going to happen and 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 we are going to go into drive into small towns we're going to go into uh, parking areas and we're going to do driving churches and I believe God's really going to bless us and we're going to see his hand move so we love you God bless you bye